In this video, I will be going over this piece of code right here on the screen in Notepad. So what this code does is it checks to see if the script was imported or if it was ran manually. So if we run this file right here, it's to be ran as expected. So basically it put this if statement to true and then it executed this main function which printed the returned value from the function add. And the reason why I put this print statement in here is just for demonstration purpose purposes in just a moment. So if we hop over to script 2, I'm just going to show you that it does not have that piece of code in there. I'm just going to run it. So this is the add function from script 2. It returns 7. And we're going to hop over to our third Python file, which is main.py. And as you can see, I already have imported script 1. I'm going to run it. We do not get anything in our terminal. And now I'm going to go ahead and import script 2. Now if we run this, you can see that it just went ahead and ran the code right away from script 2. And this is not what you would want at all. So why did it do this? Well, we did not have that piece of code, this if statement. So what is this if statement? If dunder name dunder equals equals quotes dunder main dunder quotes colon and then whatever we want to execute or functions or code or whatnot. So this checks if we ran this file manually. So if we ran it right here or if we imported it. So if we imported it, this would go to false. Now over here, when it imported into our main.py file, it read all this code and it said, oh, there's a print statement, I need to execute that. So there was no check to make sure that random code wouldn't just start running. And I'm just going to print script one dot add and I'm just going to use three so it should output six using this addition function from here so as you can as you can see to be expected it imported script one and then it imported script two and it ran script two right away that is why script two's output is above where my print function is from script 1. So as you can see this is the add function from script 2 and I'll put 7. This is the add function from script 1 and then it adds our 3 plus 3 and I'll put 6. So I really hope that you uh, take advantage of this and you use it in your own code and it's just a great feature to have that way if you ever reuse code or import it in the future then you won't be having weird issues going.